Let's plant a few more pots right quick. Hey there, welcome back to Horticulture Geek YouTube viewers. Thank you so much for tuning in today here to the channel. I'm Ray and today we are in my garden and I am going to be working on a couple of containers. Um, I've got a few things to put in there. This should be a pretty quick video. Um, and I wanted to kind of give you an update on one of my areas as well that these containers are going into. So let me flip the camera around and show you what we're working with. Okay, so here is the container that we are working with today. Um, and this is a container we actually plotted up in the fall. Um, this is a galvanized bucket that we picked up um, just at the store and came in and did a coating on here to protect it, to keep it from rotting out. Um, and I've got this tater tot arb as the centerpiece in this little bucket. Um, and for fall and winter, I had this planted with pansies um, and some ornamental cabbages. It looks really good. Um, the pansies were beautiful up until just a week or so ago when the heat stressed them out enough that I pulled them out. And so what I'm gonna be putting in there now for summer are these right here. I just have two little things. It won't be an overly extravagant pot, but these will fill in. So, all right, let me clean this off. So we have a scovola here, um, and this is Bombay Pink Scovola. And so you can see it there looking pretty good. Um, it's labeled as a ground cover for full sun. Um, so this is going to spread out and really give us a good show. Um, and the other piece here that I'm going to partner with it is a Bacopa. And let me clean this tag off here and get it to focus. So this is just a white Bacopa. Um, and this is a sun to part sun shade, which is actually ideal for where these are going to be living this summer. And so the goal here is that the Bacopa and the Scavola will intertwine with each other and just spill over this pot and fill the whole thing up. And that hopefully should be really pretty, especially for where we're going to put it. So I'm going to set the camera up. We're going to get these potted. Um, and I'm also, there's an identical pot. It's completely identical. I'm going to get it potted up. And then I'll give you a little update of where these are going. And yes, as always, I am working off my tailgate. So if you're new to Horticulture Geek, this is just the best work surface. It's the perfect work height. I love it. So I do a lot of potting right here on the tailgate of the truck. So... Let me set the camera up and we will get these plants into this pot and move on from there. All right, so I've got myself set up here. I am gonna be putting plant tone into the container with these flowers. Um, I would normally put biotone, but I just happen to be out of biotone. Plant tone will work just as good. And plus the plant tone will help fertilize the tater tot arb. So real simple, I've just got a spill tray under this pot and I'm just going to come in here and remove some of this soil out of my way that has been in here. Um, this soil was just put in fresh for the pansies in the fall winter so I'm not overly concerned about this soil um, being past its prime yet and the uh, plant tone will refresh it. So let me finish this and we'll start getting these into our new container. All right, simple as that. Now I've just got to put it where it's going and I'll show you how what we're doing over there. All right, so here we are in the home for those pots for the summer. And you can see we're in front of the garden shed or the potting shed. Um, and yes, for those of you that have been following my channel, um, you saw me put the windows into the potting shed. Um, I have still not painted the shed. That is still on the to-do list, but have not made it there yet. So, we have a grouping of three pots on each side here, and kind of going with, a, I guess you could say, a country clutter look here, um, but I like it. So, I've got the big main pot on either side of the door, then I've got a pot up in a cool kind of 
paint chippy old chair and then the pots that we just did. So let's get in closer and we will show you everything that we've got going on. So right here you can see the pot we just did with a tater tot arb. And then right up here we have kind of let you see the chair. We've got the fun, old, paint chippy, weather beaten, rustic chair. And that is housing a terracotta pot, a, just a nice round bowl style pot. And we have a asparagus fern as our thriller here, flanked by a couple of dianthus, a pink and a red. And then we have for the blue spiller here, um, this is a lobelia and I'll show you the tag. Just so if you wanna, there you go. So this is a techno dark blue lobelia. And it is just gorgeous spilling over the front of that pot. And then in our big pot here on the ground, we have um, just a regular um, evergreen, a cedar tree here. And this is what it is right here on this one, I'll show you. This is why I keep tags just for videos. So these are dwarf Alberta spruce trees. So a dwarf Alberta spruce as the thriller. And then we have a hosta, a hookera, and an English ivy spilling out the front. So there's no flowers in this pot. Um, it's just a foliage piece, but it just works. I, I tend to like it because you have different textures and colors with the foliage. So we've got just you know the texture here, the dark with the maroon tipped hookera, then the variegated bright lime and white hostas, and then the glossy um, ivy leaves. So not every container has to have flowers. Um, sometimes just texture and interest will do it for you. And to me, the combo of all three is, is just, it's unique. It's working and I really enjoy it. So again, that was just a quick video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, small projects, but that's the name of the game um, this late in the season. Just small projects, keep yourself moving forward. Um, it's easy this time of year to hit the garden burnout. You've been going to garden centers and big box stores. You've been planning, you've been planning, you've been just dreaming and working in your gardens. Um, and so it's easy now when we're starting to get into the hot parts of the summer um, to kind of just kind of be done with it. So don't fall in that trap if you don't want to fall in that trap. Just little projects. Keep yourself moving forward. Um, if you're like me, I still have a laundry list of things to do. Um, you know, life is life, time is time, and uh, sometimes other things take priority over working in the garden, um, as they should, um, family and kids and all that stuff. But anyway, the point of this whole story was I hope you enjoyed this. Just seeing a quick, small project, and now I've got this area buttoned up except for something on the door. I need to find something to go on the door, but I love it. I think it looks really good. Um, and again, you don't have to go crazy. Um, I know sometimes us gardeners, and, and I'm guilty, we have a tendency to pack our containers out and put five, six, seven different things in there. And sometimes you just need to take it simple, um, let it be what it'll be, give it some time to grow in. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hey, if you have, give it a thumbs up. Um, leave me some questions or comments down below if you have any. I would love to answer any questions you have. Um, and if for some reason you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I sure wish you would do that. Go ahead and hit that subscription um, button and hit that bell, and it'll tell you every time we post a new video. Um, and if you aren't a member of our Facebook or Instagram pages, hey, I would love for you to join us on those platforms as well. Um, Horticulture Geek on both platforms. Uh, so it's easy to find us and you'll see different things that we're doing on different days around the garden. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. But from until next time, from my garden to yours, I wish you all the best and happy gardening.